You need the light? Yeah. A little more on the thing. Yeah. Okay. of a drill bit that we need to close. fit the... It's very close to 3 million. Yes. To fit the 3 millimeter three LED. 778. Just be careful with Yeah, see, yeah, right perfect. there. Yeah. Now I can't take it off. It's okay. Thank you. There. <laughs> okay. So now that we're done drilling the holes, we're gonna need the 1.5 millimeter fiber optic strands. So these two up here, up here and up here, they're going to be shining red while the bottom ones underneath that are going to be yellow. And then we, we drilled a three millimeter hole in back of these vents right here the red LEDs and we're gonna hook that up now. So when you're doing your fiber optics, uh, what I'm gonna do and what you, I, I would recommend you do is that you cut these fiber optic strands in half. These are uh, one foot long strands. You're gonna have a red bulb powering the top and it's all gonna be up here. So you're gonna have a red LED up here powering these two. And then the, this other strand you also cut in half. You're gonna have the yellow LED powering the bottom with these two strands once I cut them. So you're gonna have a red powering the top and then a yellow, somewhere up here, powering the yellow strands of fiber optics. So then when you turn it around, it'll look like there's buttons glowing in front of the, the, the palace. And then after that, once you got all that figured out and finished, uh, also keep in mind, I have a nine volt battery snap with the switch here that i got from evan designs i got all of this stuff from evan designs the leds the fiber optic strands and these uh battery nine volt battery snaps that's all going to be back here powering one two three four four leds a nine volt battery can definitely power uh three reds and one yellow LED.
because once you're done testing the uh, red and yellow fiber optics, there's the yellow, you're ready to move on to the three millimeter LEDs that are gonna be going in here and then another one in here and then they're gonna be uh, hooked up to this one nine volt battery. All right, so next I'm gonna do the uh, lighting for the spit roast. This is going to be a flickering LED so that the fire effect looks almost realistic. So I'm just gonna grab my sauna. This one. I'm gonna heat it. Okay. And that's all done. to cover the bottom and the LED is going to be in there that's going to house the LED light for the flickering light and you want to use aluminum foil because the reflective side make sure you use the reflective side so that it uh, makes the LED brighter because you don't want you also don't want any light coming from the bottom when you have it set up all the light is just going to be coming up so we just made a hole in the little piece of aluminum foil that we made and then you put the LED light through it. It has to go all the way through like this. it so where's my disc battery here it is this is the positive and it's supposed to be flickering like that so uh, if you get the same stuff I'm gonna have everything that I bought from Evan Designs in the description of this video. If you just have to make sure that you pay attention to the bags that are sent to you, they'll say what's what. And that flickering light, see, like right here, I'm just gonna hide their address for privacy purposes. But right here it says uh, flickering LED, size is 1.8 millimeters the color is yellow so it's supposed to flicker like that so that it you, you kind of get that fire flame effect and 
As for the battery, if you're wondering about that, this disc battery, you don't even have to worry about that because the throne is gonna be covering it up. So the throne is gonna be right here and it's gonna be covering up to like right about right here since it's elevated. You're not gonna even see the battery. So if you ever need to replace it, you could just hide this behind the throne, move it over and then I'll replace the disc battery and you're done. So once you're done soldering everything in the back, I know it looks kind of messy, but um, I tried my best, not the best solder. Once you're done with all the electronics, you just want to test it out one last time. Make sure that it all turns on. You have the two lights that come out from these vents and then there's some buttons, the red on the top and then the yellow on the bottom. So once that's all good, you're good to put it all back together. All right, and here it is. This is everything fully lit up, assembled back to what it should look like with all the lights working.